Jamie. And Shelly. From Jamie Sports Talk More. And uh, the topic today that we thought we would uh, address is the situation on WWE with Alexa Bliss. Creepy. The Fiend. Hmm. <laughs> And Randy Orton. And now, from the looks of it, Oscar. So, first I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Oscar's fine. Yes. She's just dancing. <laughs> she always dances, but now she seems to be involved in the situation. Because from the sounds of it, Alexa is going to go after her job. Well, she has to win the Rumble first. Yes, that's just it. Though. She has declared herself going into the rumble now. And, uh, of course, if she does win, I have a feeling she will be going after that Raw title. And if she goes after the Raw title, and the same thing happens when she goes after it, that happens Monday night. She could have our champ just running off scared. Personally, she's a little on the poop side right now. <laughs> now, I read something online. And uh, what I read is okay, so Bray Wyatt, we all know, had his transformation to the king. Oh, long ago. Yes. And he hasn't come back since he was lit on fire by Randy Orton in the Inferno match. And, uh, that was weird. Yes. And Alexa has been extremely obsessed with the situation. Actually, at one point in time, asking Randy to set her on fire so she could be with the king. And, um... <laughs> Douse herself and gasoline and the whole bit. But for some reason, Orton didn't do it, which kind of leaves a person wondering because that guy's always been very sadistic. And it makes you wonder if his character's actually going to turn babyface. I, 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 I don't know because any other time you'd think that he would have done it because he did do it with the feet. So, that's a question in the air right now. And I then, don't know. It's hard to say. Then, of course, Alexa got mad at me for not doing it. She showed up the next Monday and threw a fireball at him. And uh, this Monday, he came and uh, he ruled that he has first degree burns. It's like, nasty. Yeah, he was wearing a, a full mask on his face. The only thing not covered was his lips, his nose, and his eyes. And they looked kind of crispy. <laughs> yeah. So, but I personally am starting to worry about Oscar. Because I love Oscar. She's so rough. I don't care if she's a good guy. I didn't or like a bad her guy. for a while, and she was doing the mist thing. Oh no, I was, love Oscar. She's good, bad, I don't care. And when she was doing the mist, whether it was someone I liked or not that she was wrestling, I would cheer for her to to, to shoot mist in their face. The only one I wasn't fond of getting mist in their face was Becky. And that's another thing I'm wondering. When is Becky going to come back? And if anybody thinks that's watching this, that there's the possibility she could be a secret entrance for the Women's Surprise Royal entrance. Rumble. A surprise entrance. If you think that's a possibility, let us know what you think. Or did I did I did read a tweet saying that she's ready to come back. Yeah, she's had the baby now. So, but um. Oh, the question is on Seth when he comes back. He's gonna be like the annoying himself, like. I don't know the what Messiah the Messiah garbage, or is he? I don't know what his persona is going to be when he comes back. And uh, the thing with Oscar, when we get back to that, with, uh, <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I like this. With oh, Oscar I, I do too. and Alexa, 
with what happened on Alexa's playground, or whatever it is she's calling yeah, it now. That's a playground. Um, when she was talking to an empty space. And that was wouldn't let Oscar sit in the swing because she said that's not your seat. And she was talking to the swing, asking the swing if it was okay. Then she smiled and started waving at a rocking horse that was starting to rock on its own. This of course started to spook Oscar and she did exactly what I would have done. But I would have gotten out of that ring and just very calmly left. Oscar even tried the closet when she was talking to Alexa. Alexa. <laughs> she tried to, to comfort her when she was getting upset and tried to say, don't worry, he's still here. Whoa. Big mistake. Big no-no. Because, of course, <laughs> that made her even more fear when she asked, said, don't say his name and he, uh, I do believe she's upset. So, yeah. <laughs> there is that possibility, I guess, that Oscar could transform herself into Sister Abigail. Because... You mean Alexa Bliss? Yeah, Alexa Bliss. Sorry. Yeah, you um, said Oscar. I've got Oscar on the brain. Anyhow. She could transform into Sister Abigail simply because if you remember the Firefly Funhouse the character the puppet that was portraying Sister Abigail had all black on and uh, black makeup the, the whole bit and what's happening to uh, Little Miss Bliss Everything she's wearing is black. Black mm -hmm. makeup. And she's got her hair up and messy like the, the puppet did. She could literally supposedly transforming in to Sister Abigail. Now the fiend, when he comes back, she gave a hint that when he comes back, he'll be nothing like what we've ever seen. So, what... Right, right. He's have a different mask, too. Well, he better have a different mask for something. Because if he comes back, and he looks exactly the same, and it's exactly the same character... They have his tongue different. <laughs> no, I think sticking of his tongue is kind of cute. What? But if it's exactly the cute. same... If it's exactly the same character, as neat as that character may be, How is that then cute? it defeats the purpose of the whole thing. So, maybe what they're going to do, they've been hinting at the fact that possibly when he comes back, what could happen is they could make it so that like, one side of his mask is burnt or, or, you know, messed up a little bit at least to show that he was burnt. But, my question is, is Alexa Bliss going to remain the character the way that she has it, so she's going to end up evolving more so and having a mask. That is crazy. <laughs> she's already pretty creepy without the mask. <laughs> but, if she does evolve, evolve more and she has the mask, what kind of mask do you think? I don't know, probably the same as the old mask for the scene. Maybe you uh, make it different? Well, if she has a mask, I personally don't think it should be the same as the team. It should be a little different because the character she would be involved, evolving into, I think, would be a you know, Abigail or herself. So, the mask, I think, would have to look as much like that puppet from the playhouse <laughs> as possible. Like, that's what I keep thinking, you know, if she's transforming into Sister Abigail stuff, she's going to have to look very nice to the public. That's what I think. Well, we'll see, it, we'll see what happens. Yeah, but we wanted to make sure that uh, we talk to you about this whole situation because it's messed up and it's weird. 
And then they had that dirt sheet. <laughs> oh, don't get me started on the dirt sheet. <laughs> I swear if I could jump through my TV screen and strangle Morrison and Miz, I say you do it. Totally disrespectful. I mean, that... What's his name? Gilbert. Gilbert. Oh. Gilbert, he's funny, but... That's disrespectful. And then the guy they had coming out supposed to be Drew. I'm sorry, buddy, but get a freaking belt and pull up your drawers. I can see butt crack. Seriously, folks, you gotta watch it. Not if you don't want to throw up. No, but what she was, what she. It's nasty. It's funny to an extent, but it's nasty. Anyhow. Like, I can imagine what Goldberg and Drew are thinking when they In all honesty, it. I bet you the rap on the that's what I think. And I bet you Drew and his, his family are laughing. Goldberg and his family are laughing. And then when they go back and they meet each other face to face. Which will be next week, by the way. Next week. It's Monday. Because Drew did announce that he is feeling better. And he said he's feeling uh, pretty much, how do you put it? Like his old self. Yeah. So, uh... He's feeling better, and uh, the whole situation with the COVID-19 with him is going to be ending on a good note. So yeah. he will be coming so, back. Yeah, he'll be coming up next, coming back next Monday. And Goldberg is also supposed to be coming. So let's hope it's actually Drew <laughs> and Goldberg, not Gilberg and that fat guy. <laughs> and seriously. <laughs> His big, nasty <laughs> gut hanging over a kill. I mean, really, a beer belly. Just. And he's got butt crack. The dude looks like a plumber that just got paid to go in the ring. <laughs> and his freaking wig kept falling off. Nasty, nasty. And the guy's got bald head when he, when he, when he took off the wig. It's nasty. It was. Really? Yeah. Nasty. It was nasty. But. We are uh, going to leave it at that. And, uh, Jamie, is there anything more that you want to say before we sign off? Uh, yeah, um, just, just to let you guys know, uh, our, our sponsor, the, the Shay's Family Channel, uh, YouTube channel is doing awesome. <laughs> yes. And if you want to make sure that you are kept up to date on all the wrestling information that we are going to be posting, then please do check out the channel. And please do hit the notification bell. And share, comment, and if you enjoy this video and want more videos to enjoy, please do subscribe. Because on that channel, for you guys that are don't know about the channel it's called J the Shays family channel uh, we have all different thing different things on there like there's lots of different playlists there's this particular one which is for Jamie's sports talk for the business and for Jamie's gaming and what Jamie's gaming is uh, I I play the games certain games and he basically lets you know what games he finds best to play. Myself, I have one called uh, Shall We Speak? And basically all I've been doing is... Talk about movies. Yes, <laughs> I, I will watch a movie and basically rate it out of five stars and let you know what I think of it. And whether or not it is children friendly. And speaking of that, we have a daughter. Yes. Beautiful Catherine. And she has one called Catherine Takes Control. She actually just posted another video on oh there. Oh God, So yes. please do go and check it out because we're going up on this guy here. <laughs> so, everybody, take care. Stay safe. Wear your masks. Wash your hands with sanitizer. And if you start to catch a cold and you're not sure, please do go. Yes, very important, guys. All right, so we will talk to you next time. So for our 
for our channel at Jamie Sports Talk and more for the business. Please hit like, please hit subscribe, and most importantly, folks, hit that notification bell. It's very important. Yes, and you can also follow Jamie Sports Talk and more on Facebook. So give it a check. Yeah, and we also do our Jamie Sports Talk and more Facebook live shows on there and also on Instagram. Yes, and we, there's constant posting. And if you're a karaoke fan, we also have karaoke on our channel here. But if you're an uh, 80s fan as well and love 80s karaoke, check out <laughs> my page, my group page, which is just basically called 80s Karaoke Talk. We are working to get to our 10,000. And there's also 80s music lovers, isn't there? Yes. But since we've already plugged our pages, and there's nothing really else to say, <laughs> we just want to say take care of yourselves, have a good day or night whenever you're watching this, and we will see you next time. Take care. <laughs>